And the wudu, you know the wudu, the wudu itself. When you take the wudu, the problem that many of us, when we take the wudu, there is no niyyah, there is no intention. We just carry the making wudu just like that, by default, like a, a, like a robot. But when we take wudu, you should have in mind, prepare yourself, that now I'm taking wudu to pray, to stand in front of Allah. When you wash your hands, your sins fall apart. When you wash your face, all the sins that you, you saw during your day comes out. When you wash your right hand, the sins, they fall apart. The left hand, with the water, they come out. The sins, they come out. By the time you finish the wudu, all your sins are washed away. Just by the wudu. This is a rahmah from Allah. This is a mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that is, so minor sins, they will be forgiven by the salah, by the istighfar, etc. And like the Ashura, fasting Ashura, fasting the day of Arafah, this they forgive and expiate minor sins, not major sins. Major sins you have to make sincere tawbah. Now, what are the fruits of committing sins? If a person is committing sin, what does he gain? He gains the following. He gains deprivation of provision. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't give him risk. Or his risk is reduced because of his sin. Because of his sin, the baraka goes, baraka. Have you, do you know the word baraka? Blessing? Baraka is not there. People in the past, they were good people. There was baraka, a small one acre of land gives many folds of many acres of today. Old people, they know this. The baraka now has been removed. The baraka has been gone. So Allah removes the baraka from your life. Baraka from your time. Baraka from your children. Your children are giving you a tough time. You have a lot of money, you bring private tutors for everyone. Yet at the end of the year, fail, 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 fail. They have private tutors. But they are failing. And a poor fellow living in a hut, his child is distinction, distinction. A plus, A plus, right? So Allah removes the baraka. So that is number one. And this is exactly what the Prophet ﷺ said. Inna al-abda la yuhram al-rizq bi-dhambi yusiba. Verily a slave will be deprived of rizq, provision, because of his sins. Second thing that you will feel, if you are committing haram, if you are doing the sins, you feel your chest is getting narrow. You feel depression, depression. You don't know what to do. You are depressed. And you want to feel happy. You can't. This depression because of your sins. Because that is what Allah said. وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ عَنْ ذِكْرِي فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً ضَنْكَ وَنَحْشُرُهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ أَعْمَى he who turns away from my path, from my way, is going to have a miserable life. Miserable life. Also, among the evil outcomes of committing sins, that you feel wherever you go, no tawfiq. You know the word tawfiq? No help, no assistance from Allah. Anywhere you go, you apply for this job, sorry. This job, sorry. And then you start to ask, why? Ask yourself. Ask yourself. Are you obeying him or disobeying him? You are disobeying him and you want him to help you, to facilitate and to make things easy for you? No. He gives you a tough time to wake up in order that you might turn to him. Turn to Allah.
turn to Allah, everything, brothers and sisters, is in Allah's hand. Everything. Everything. There is a sheikh in Medina, Sheikh Shanqiti. A young man came to him and said, Sheikh, do you know anyone? I'm looking for a job. He said, yes, I know one. He said, who's that? You know, he was expecting him to tell him, I know Brent so-and-so, Amir so-and-so. The sheikh said, I know Allah. Allah, everyone knows. He told him, listen, ask Allah. Have you asked him sincerely from the bottom of your heart? Have you cried? How many times, many people, many Muslims, I'm talking about Muslims. Many Muslims, they have problems, for instance. He doesn't know how to solve it, right? So the whole night he's awake, smoking. <laughs> huh? The ashtray is full, walking. He did, his, his eyes are red. He can't sleep. <laughs> it is achi, very easy. Take wudu. Go take wudu. Pray to him. Turakaz. Cry to him. And he will help you. The cigarette will not solve your problem. Call to him. Call him. Turn to him, to Allah. So this man, he stood up at night and he prayed. The next day he went and he was driving his car. He said, I had feeling that I have to apply in this department for, for vacancy job. He went inside, he said, do you have any job? He said, we have two vacancies, we have two vacant jobs, and we are looking for someone like you. He went back to the sheikh, he said, I got it. He said, I told you, ask him. Anything you want, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also, brothers and sisters, the sins, the dhunub, they weaken the heart. They make the heart weak. If you are a sinner, soon you will break down. Anything happens to you, you break down. Even sometimes people, they commit suicide. Why do they commit suicide? Because the problem is too big for them, too much. They cannot handle it. Because their hearts are weak. But the mu'min says, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Don't you know, brothers and sisters, that one of the Sahabiyat, this is for the sisters, we want sisters like, like this Sahabiyah, Al Khansa. Al Khansa, four children, four of her children died in the battle of Al Qadisiyah. And when the news reached her, she said, Alhamdulillah. Actually, she told them before they left for the battlefield, My sons, goodbye. We will not meet except in the Jannah. Only in the Jannah we meet. And when the news reached her, she said, Alhamdulillah, this is an honor for me. The Iman. The Iman makes the heart very strong. There is a brother from Pakistan. In, this happened in Saudi Arabia. Accident. He was, his family, all his family, they were in front of him in one car. And he was driving behind them in another car. And the car that... In, carries his, his family, went under lorry and crushed. And all of them died on the spot, all of them. The whole family in one go, like that. Like, yes, what happened to, uh, in the, now with tsunami? All the family, just like that. You will not believe what he did. He pulled over to the sideway and he made suyut. He made sujood to Allah. This is the test for me, so help me, O oh Allah. So the Iman gives a lot of strength to the heart. Take another Sahabiyah. This is to boost the morale of the sisters. This is Umm Sulaim. Her son was sick, and her husband went to pray Isha. And when he came back, during his absence, that the child died. 
Her husband came back, she didn't tell him. He said, how's the child? He said, very calm, very calm. He's dead. She covered the child. Then she gave food to her husband. She served the dinner. And he had his dinner. And then he slept with his wife. He slept with her. After that, he told him, Oh, father of so-and-so, what do you think if our neighbors gave us a utensil, a blade, a dish? Then they said, give us back our utensil. What should we do? He said, we have to give them their utensil. He said, the one who gave us the child took it. The one who gave us the child took it. Allah gave it to us and he took it. He said, Inna lillah wa inna raj'un. Why didn't you tell me? You waited until I had my dinner and I slept with you? She kept quiet. In the Fajr prayer, he told the Prophet ﷺ what happened. And the Prophet ﷺ asked him, Did you sleep with one another? He said, Yes. The Prophet ﷺ raised his hands and he said, Allahumma barik lahuma fi laylatihima. Oh Allah, made the night a blessed night. And she conceived from that night. Allah took one child and gave them another child. This is the Iman. The Iman strengthens the heart. But the sin makes the heart very weak. Very weak. The sin also, the them, the sins, they make the person lack interest. He doesn't have any interest in doing ibadah. Even when he comes to the salah, he's dragging his feet, you know. Lazy. And he said, this is how he sleeps. No interest. You ask him, what did the imam read in the salah? Akhi, I don't know. I don't remember. So that's how he comes to the salah. Why? Because of his sins. Because of the dhunub. The salah, the salah, you stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You communicate with Allah. The Prophet ﷺ is saying that, Salli salatam wadda. Consider this is your last salah. That is because of your dhunub. Also, the sin, brothers and sisters, the sin breeds another sin. You start smoking only. I'm talking to the youngsters. You start just by trying a cigarette. Do you think it will stop there? Never. It will take you to the marijuana, to the opium, to all types of drugs. But you started just by the cigarette. So the sin, a haram, takes you to another haram. You try this, then you move to another sin. So a sin leads to another sin. And the shaitan will never leave you. He will leave you only in one case. If you become a disbeliever, if you leave Islam. If you leave Islam, the shaitan will leave you. Otherwise, the shaitan will be with you till the last minute of your life. The shaitan is there waiting for you from day one when you came into this dunya. And he will not leave you till you die. Even when you are dying, he's there trying to tell you to say something to displease Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal, rahimahullah, when he was dying, when he was dying, his son was telling him, Oh father, say la ilaha illallah. Imam Ahmad was saying, not yet, not yet. So the son got scared. He said, my father, what is it? I'm telling you, say la ilaha illallah, Imam Ahmad, Imam of Ahl sunnah And you are telling me I will not say it? He said, my son, the shaitan is at my head. I can see the shaitan biting his finger, saying, oh Ahmad, you escaped from me. You escaped my grip, and I'm telling him not yet. I cannot be sure that I am safe until I die. So the shaitan throughout your life will be with you. So if you want the protection, be in the company of Allah. Allah will protect you. And may Allah protect you. May Allah protect your children. May Allah protect Muslim. And may Allah guide every human being to the state path. Ameen. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.